What's going on everybody? Wired here. I hope you're all having an excellent day. And today we have to once again revisit the Chris Rock special selective outrage. There's been a lot of talk about this on Twitter. A lot of videos made about this. Everyone's talking about him while roasting Will Smith, Meghan Markle. Uh, I watched the special uh, last night actually. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, it's got a 7.1 out of 10 here on IMDb, so that's, that's not too bad. Over here on Rotten Tomatoes, 50% with critics, which is not really a huge surprise. But 82 audience score, so it seems like most people are enjoying this. But I'll tell you one person, or there's probably a few people who aren't enjoying it, but one person who's definitely not is Will Smith. And that's because he knows each day that goes by, it's another day closer to August. And speaking of uh, August, August Alsina uh, has now weighed in on uh, the jokes that were made in the special about Will Smith. Uh, calls, him, uh, calls him funny. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to read this article here real quick. Uh, just to see what, uh, you know, the man who was uh, slamming Will Smith's wife uh, says about these jokes. Because, hey, it makes him relevant again. I don't know. I think August Alsina's a rapper. I know he's around Jaden Smith's age. I think he's like, what, I don't know, probably 22, 23. He's young. Maybe he's not that young anymore. I'm not sure, but definitely a lot younger than Jada. That's for sure. And she always appears a little bit happier. Uh, let me see if I can pull up a picture here real quick. Uh, I'll have to copy it in there. There we go. Always seems like she's a lot happier with August. Def definitely does. But yeah, let's get into it. Jada Pinkett Smith's affair partner thought Chris Rock's jokes were funny. Yes, August Alsina, their singer who was the other half of Jada Pinkett Smith's romantic entanglement. I would, you know, we're still using that word, I guess it's in quotes. I would call it an affair or infidelity. Uh, entanglement's a nice way to say it. It's like the Disney version. Watch Chris Rock's comedy special and he thought it was funny. August watched the Netflix special and he laughed. A source told the Post. He thought it was not only funny, but truthful. That was the best part for him. On Saturday, Rock finally went public with his thoughts on being slapped by Will Smith at the 2022 Oscars with Selective Outrage, his live Netflix comedy special. And this is going back again to February of 2022. Chris Rock has stayed silent on this a long time. And I was reading an article earlier. Will Smith is not really happy about this. He wants Chris Rock to leave it alone. It should just go away. My question for that is, how is that especially supposed to happen? One, you assaulted a man on the world stage, which, if I walked out on the street right now and I just slapped somebody, I'd be arrested, even if only that person saw it. And anyone listening to this, I guarantee you go out, you, walk, you slap some random person, or someone you, you kind of know, or you know, your acquaintances with, you're going to get arrested for it. But, you know, Will Smith can do it in front of the entire world. Nothing happens. That's celebrity privilege. That's the true privilege we would deal with in our society. There's the rich and there's everybody else. But enough of my tangents. On Saturday, Rock finally went public with his thoughts on being slapped by Will Smith at the 2022 Oscars with his special, uh, his live Netflix comedy special, Selective Outrage. In it, Rock speculated that Smith smacked him, not just over his joke about Pinkett Smith's baldness, Comparing the actress who has alopecia to G.I. Jane, which was a pretty tame joke, but because Smith was unleashing built up anger over her affair with Alcina. Facts, 100%. There's no way that that very, very mild joke uh, could have prompted Will Smith to just get up there and smack him for that. Chris Rock is a comedian. Uh, I, don't, I don't follow his career that close. I don't know every joke he's ever made, but I guarantee you he's made a lot worse jokes than that. Everybody in the world called him, uh, I can't say that word, uh, no, I can't say that word either, oh, uh, coward, <laughs> rock set of Smith, everybody, everybody, who's he hits, me, uh, me, someone he knows he could beat, uh, that, that is some ish. The source suggested that in Alcina's eyes, rock got it right. Which, that's pretty funny, too. Yeah, uh, I know a little bit about August Alcina. Apparently, he's a friend of Jaden's. He had a lot of issues with um, uh, drugs. He became a close friend of the Smith families, and they took him into their home. They went on vacations with him. Stuff like that. He was very close with the family. I think a lot of people would argue now way too close with the family. 
But it's got to be like the ultimate betrayal. You let this guy into your home, you're trying to help him out, and he sleeps with your wife. And what do you do to uh, remedy that situation? Well, you go on a talk show and talk about how your wife was unfaithful to you, so you're embarrassed on the world stage, and everyone calls you a beta and calls you a cuck. Will Smith had one move to make there, and he should have left her. That's the only way he could have came out with his dignity. Now it's too late. Oh, uh, yeah, and here, okay, here she is. And she looks really, yeah, she looks pretty happy with August Alcina here. She, she's got a lot more hair, too. Oh, I can't say that. Nobody, nobody tell Will Smith about that. Actually, in fact, if anyone knows Will Smith, tell him about that. He can come here and slap me. I'd like some more subscribers. A lot of people spoke out against Alcina, said the source. So he was happy to see that Chris Rock seemed to be advocating for the truth and not just making a joke. Uh, as Rock crowed about Smith during the stand-up special, his wife was uh, doing her son's friend. Uh, page 6 previously reported that Alcina, now 30. Okay, he's 30 now. Sorry, I got that wrong. And Pinkett Smith, 51. Met in 2015 at the Wire Festival in London, where, Smith's, where the Smith kids, Willow and Jaden, were performing. Uh, the singer quickly became a friend of the family, even vacationing the next year with the couple and their children in Hawaii. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Just take this, uh, this guy you just met to Hawaii, and he, yeah, he gets with your wife. I could see why Will Smith would be angry. Uh, I just don't understand why he'd be angry at Chris Rock. But rumors began to swirl when Alcina and Pinkett Smith were photographed looking uh, loved up at the 2017 BET Awards. People were speculating, said the source, and Will and Jada have a very unique understanding. August was vindicated when he said he had a conversation with Will. It was a blessing given, which I don't know if I believe, but, you know, from everything we've seen lately about Will Smith, it also wouldn't surprise me. It's pretty clear Jada wears the pants in that family. Uh, you know... Uh, she probably wears the underwear. And the, I mean, she's probably wearing everything. Will Smith is standing there naked in the cold. I mean, that, that's how she seems to me. She, she runs the roost, and he just, you know, does whatever she says. And that's, uh, that's obviously going to lead into problems, and eventually, you know, a man's going to be embarrassed like that. He's going to break down. That's exactly what happened to Will Smith. Just took it out in the wrong place, on the wrong person. Could have got a divorce. In June 2020, Alcina told Angela Yee, who hosted The Breakfast Club, that he sat down with Will and had a conversation due to the transformation from the Smith's marriage to life partnership. Uh, he gave me his blessings, which I think Will Smith has actually denied that. But yeah, then a few days later, Pinkett confirmed the entanglement and discussion with Smith on her Facebook watch series, Red Table Talk, but told her husband that she didn't consider it a transgression because the couple was on a break at the time. Yeah, I, uh, again, I don't really, you know, agree with that. Uh, looking back on it all, the source told the Post, Pinkett Smith definitely downplayed a four-year relationship. It was not an entanglement, and that's what made it so unfortunate. Alcina did not drag them in any interviews. It was not a scandal. It was just Alcina telling the truth and getting his life back. He was actually getting sick from the stress of the romance, physically sick. Rock seems to believe that the stress of it all got to Smith, too. Yeah, obviously. Uh, and I would also say, yeah, you know... Jada Pinkett Smith seems like a very, I don't know her, this is my speculation, seems like a very uh, demanding woman. Somebody I don't think I'd want to uh, even know. You know, and she's broken Will Smith, which is a shame. Uh, I, I like Will Smith, or I, I did at one point. You know, I, I grew up watching The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. That's hilarious. I can still watch that on reruns. I don't want to say that this defines Will Smith forever, because I don't think it does, but Will Smith has got to get in a better mental headspace. And he's got to just let whatever happens with this happens because he's the one who caused the whole thing. Well, I guess Jada caused it somewhat too, but he's the one who reacted. Uh, my advice to you, Will Smith, I know you'll never watch this, but get a divorce. It's a little too late now to save your image entirely, but it would be a step in the right direction. Whatever Chris Rock is going to do, whether you like it or not, you instigated the whole thing. You can't blame anybody but yourself. But anyway, that's all I got for you today. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you don't like what I'm saying, uh, I apologize. Thanks for listening this long, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.